welcome back to the vlog. Don't mind the pillows all strewn over the bed. The dog was on there earlier. Um, so I've decided for this week's vlog that I would do a book review of all the books I've read this year. Or the ones I have a physical copy of. So let me grab them. So my New Year's resolution this year was to read more books, like enjoyable books, not just for university and stuff like that. So the first one I actually read was Black Beauty. I tried to get it in the same cover as I've got all the other display books on my bookshelf. Um, I've never read it before for some reason. I enjoyed it. It was easy to read. Um, very different than the movie for some reason. Not too different, but different enough that it was like getting a background to the movie, which I loved as a child. Um, another one is the Bridgerton books. I've read, uh, I'll just double check, I've read the first one, the second one, the fourth, fifth, sixth ones. So I haven't read the third or the seventh and eighth. And I have not read any of the like extended epilogue, like the extended behind the scenes background of the book at the end, whatever it is. I enjoyed them. They are so different from the actual show. It's not funny. Like there, there are a couple of things in each book that are the same. And other than that, it's like a completely different story about the same people. So if you really love Bridgerton, I would suggest reading them. You might find that you actually like the show better. I didn't, I enjoy the books more. Um, with saying that, it's like when you finish a good TV show and then you're like, oh my gosh, I want some more of that. It's like that. You get that extra story because there's a lot of stuff that's not in the show and a lot of things that come later in the books or in the first season and all sort of things like that. Now, my favourite Bridgerton book was... It's called To Sir Philip With Love. That's about Eloise and finding a husband or partner. That was my favorite one. I don't know why, but um, spoilers. So click away if you don't want to know what happens in the book. Um, so click away now, go to watch another video, something like that. Um, but basically she, has been writing letters to um, Sir Philip Crane, who um, it was her cousin's husband, but she died and all this other sort of stuff. And then she goes out to meet him when he offers to marry her. And he's a botanist and I don't know why, but I really enjoyed that he was a botanist for some reason. Like I thought that was so romantic and <laughs> something like that. Um, so that's pretty much, that's a rundown of one of the Bridgerton books. I'm not going to go into every one of those ones I've read, but I've read, I think, five of eight of them. Um, another one I've read, again, is Pride and Prejudice. This is my um, book with the broken spine, as my mum likes to call it because I just fold everything around and I've got like highlighter bits and underline bits in this copy. I have like four copies of Pride and Prejudice for some reason because I love all of the different um, covers and I fell in love with Pride and Prejudice, the movie, when I was like a little kid. Um, the one with can't remember who's in it, but 
but I think it's like the 2004 version is like my favorite version. That's like my favorite movie ever. So again, I read Pride and Prejudice, which I have read in the past. Um, I forgot how long winded it can be and how long it takes to get into any, what I would think would be like good parts of the book. Um, I have been known in the past to skip like the first like, 10 chapters and then just read from there to the end. Um, so there's that. I reread Dracula, which I read in high school and I really enjoyed. Um, this is a copy I haven't read out of. I have a lot of doubles of books, like I have my display shelf of books that all have this sort of a spine with different coloured titles on it. Um, but interesting. I would say if you've never read it, read it. I don't know why, but I just feel like it envelops you in the story more. It's more, it's darker and more grim than you would think, but in a subtle sort of way, like you don't know at first and you're like, oh, it's a vampire story. But I feel like it is truly a book that everybody should read. Other than that, I have read... Well, I'm partially reading. It's called The Mountain Is You. Obviously, I haven't read it in a long time. Um, I started this book last year and it's a book about self-sabotage and how to get out of that self-sabotaging mindset. Um, my therapist actually recommended it to me and I just have not picked it up for a while. So I'm aiming to finish that this month. Um, I have a lot of sticky notes on the side of it. I have parts where I've written in there or things that I go back to occasionally. Um, I think it's good for anybody who is on a finding themselves journey, like trying to find yourself again. I feel like it's very, it can bring up a lot of stuff which it has for me and I find it can be hard to read and you know thinking about working on yourself is hard like it's a hard thing to do and yeah so that's about it I am currently reading for this month um, another Bridgerton novel this one is about Hyacinth that's the youngest child I'm like 12 pages in so hopefully it gets better and I'm also reading, which I found very enjoyable so far. It's called The Other Bennett Sister. And this is not a prequel or a sequel. It's like a, it's about the middle sister from Pride and Prejudice. So they're the Bennett sisters. So there's Jane Elizabeth Mary, which this book is about. Then there's, Lydia and Kitty but this is about um Mary which is like the plain sister out of them all she's not super beautiful she's not witty she's like the average one out of them all and like her journey to find love and I've really enjoyed it so far I've only just started it like yesterday I'm about I'm 145 pages in and I find it's easier to read than Pride and Prejudice because Pride and Prejudice because it was written so long ago there's a different type of language like the sentences drone on and on and on whereas this is you know written not that long ago although it's for the same trying to write in the same style it's just using a lot more casual language than really formal um but I'm enjoying this so I've got three books on the go at the moment I'm aiming to read a book a month which really is not a lot because when I was a kid, I actually, I loved to read and I stopped reading because I got um, really ingrained in just doing my university work, researching, doing all that sort of stuff. And I didn't want to read for joy after I had read all day for basically work. 
at university. So I have also read a couple of books on my Kindle. Now, if you do read a lot, I would suggest getting a Kindle. It is the perfect, it's like the perfect little gadget. So I've read mostly the Bridgerton books, some other Regency era historical things. Um, but I find it's really handy, even if I'm reading paperbacks at home, it's perfect for traveling. It's like that big, it's so small, it's this size. And then, you know, most books are generally about that big, thicker even. So it's a little bit shorter and a little bit thinner. And you know, it's that, it's that thin, it's smaller than a book and it can hold like 10,000 books or something like that. So I bought myself a new Kindle this year because my old one was actually ruined. Um, so at this point, I think I'm up to like eight books. I'm like one month ahead of where I should be. Um, and that's about it. <laughs>